Everyone, it's Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much for being a member of Bama Football on YouTube. I appreciate you guys today on the show. A day storylines, what A day means, the crowd size, an undefeated meetup. Let's talk about it. And I want to take your calls. And the call online is open from the jump. 205 850 1994 is the call online number. My name is Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. You should be excited because you get an opportunity to watch Kalen DeBoer, his new staff, with this loaded Alabama football team jump on the field at Bryant Denny Stadium, beautiful Bryant Denny Stadium, in what should be a fantastic Saturday. Go support your team, go support the product. Give your new coach all of the momentum that he needs going into 2024. Because when you zoom out and you look to what's going on in Alabama, there's a lot of positivity, right? You replace Coach Saban, which you really can't replace, but from a head football coaching standpoint, and you come in and you take over as Coach Kalen DeBoer, and he comes in screaming with momentum, screaming with positivity. You hear the music on the outside. You can feel it. You can feel this new energy. And to say what worked in the past, it worked. Look at all the national titles. Look at where Alabama, the brand of football is, right? It's still the number one brand in all of college football. But what Coach Kalen DeBoer has come in, he's added his way of doing things. He's got a really good aura. The guy is genuine. He has a really good staff. And that's one of the things that I'm really excited about when I look to Coach Kalen DeBoer and his overall staff is for the first time, really, I feel that this staff has a really strong personality of guys who um, can clearly coach at this level. But when you bring in former head football coaches, like, for example, Cam Womack, right? Uh, he was just at the head football coach at South Alabama, brings a ton of experience. You bring in Mo Linquist. I talked about him yesterday on my show and just the respect that I have for him and just how these guys are honestly true professionals. You hear that word being used a lot within the Alabama football complex, the professionalism of these guys, as well as the players. I mean, you saw the interview with Jalen Milrow, right? Wherever you stand, um, you know, on the quarterback situation like you can honestly admit that Jalen Milrow is a one million percent it's honestly like he's already in the NFL which is going to be by the way you hear from Nick Sheridan Nick Sheridan the way that he handles himself professional you look at these guys like a Tyler Booker my goodness who wouldn't want to have that young man on your football team in your NFL roster right imagine those are your leaders here right Deontay Lawson Jalen Milrow Tyler Booker Malachi Moore Devontae Smith. Then you welcome on, uh, you know, some guys who have played at the highest level. Uh, Keon Sab, right? Damani Jackson. Those guys coming in from really big programs. Adding to the staff. So I like where things are. And A-Day is coming up. So when I think about storylines going into this particular game, and if you're just here, uh, please take a minute to hit the thumbs up button. And if you're a fan funder, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much for supporting us right here on Bama Football on YouTube. I think with the storylines is, number one, I want to see the development of the offense overall. Yesterday, Ty Hayes and I talked about the running backs. And I think I want to see those. I know I want to see those running backs in action. I want to see how they are utilized within this up-tempo, high-potency style of offense. I want to see the helmet communication. I want to see the fluidity of the offense. I want to see uh, mid-range passes. I want to see deep balls. I want to see explosive plays. We're not going to get to see a lot because it's, you know, it's a glorified practice, but I want to see a little bit of it for sure, right? If it happens to be that Caleb Odom comes up and catches a touchdown pass while jumping 10 feet in the air and you have Kendrick Law who rips off a jet sweep for who knows how long, I'm here for it. Kobe Prentice, right? I can't wait to see uh, what he does as well. So that's what I'm looking forward to see. I want to see the development, honestly, of the quarterbacks. And we're not going to get to see too much of, you know, what these guys have put in place. But we're, we'll, we'll have seen something. You heard the interview from Jalen Miro, the, the positive praise, somebody that believes in him. I love it. I love that interview. That was the best interview that we've had all spring season. I want to see which wide receiver stands out. You know what? I've been hearing a lot of positive things about Jeremy Bernard, the transfer from Washington. And guess what? Heard uh, a little nugget um, about Josh uh, Cuevas, right? Who came from Washington to Alabama. And, you know, he's made some good good catches during uh, practice. Stood out a little bit. That's a, that's a good tight end room. He was saying uh, to my source 
that he can already tell the difference between playing at Washington and playing at Alabama. And what he meant by that was the competition level, the fast pace. Like, they, look, the Pac-12, you know, it doesn't even exist anymore, but it was never on the same level as the SEC. There's a big difference. There's a big jump. Everybody that's in this chat understands that. And I'm not surprised to hear it. I can't even imagine what the coaches are feeling. Seeing this level, this this amount of talent at your disposal. Coach Saban left this place absolutely loaded. There were some guys who left for sure. That was going to happen. It's going to happen on Monday with the transfer portal. There's going to be some guys that go. But the nucleus of this entire team that is still here, loaded. Can win as many games as you want to. Can win as many games as they want to. The team, the guy, the teams that can beat Alabama, there's some out there for sure. But I think, um, you know, this team can win as many games as they want to. I think they're that talented. Storylines on the defensive side that I'm looking at, you know, I want to see the inside linebacker play. I want to see the pass rushers. I want to see um, guys like Keanu Co, a Keon Keeley, a Quay Russo, who's probably, you know, uh, one of the names that has emerged this spring. I want to see what do we see from uh, Q Rob. Um, Guys within the uh, defensive line rotation as well. And, of course, the secondary. Who's going to make big plays? Who's going to stand out in this game? And just because they stand out in this game doesn't mean that they're going to stand out during the season, right? Um, it's just spring. And, I look, if you're just catching this and you're a prospect or you're you're a, you're a member of the football staff or the, or the football team, rather. Like, man, Saturday does not dictate your position with on this team within this team going forward like stay patient this is a good place this is still the most eyeballs in the country are still in alabama football one million percent you're gonna get your chance everybody gets their opportunity at some point but you have to be ready when that opportunity comes and presents itself to you right so just because you don't catch a touchdown pass or you you know don't get 10 15 players whatever stay patient i think if you believe in this system you believe in the coaching staff they're going to put you in a really good position to flourish within this system. It's going to take some time. It's okay. We all get a different chance to shine at different times, right? So um, excited for it. Let me ask you, Undefeated, and everybody inside the comment box, and I appreciate you guys joining me this morning on a fine April 11th. How many people, what, what do you think the attendance will be for A-Day? Over 75,000? Somebody said there was 92,000 for Coach Saban's first A day. I don't know if that's accurate or whatever, but look, if you're out there and you're kind of on the fence about coming, come down, right? Come down, check out Tuscaloosa, see the growth of the city, go to A day, support your team, support the players, buy a link shirt. I think you can, Taron Arnold, you can, he's doing like a meet and greet, I think on Friday, just tomorrow. Um, by the way, I'll jump right to it. The undefeated meetup. Um, let's meet at, um, you know, I, I'm going to look at the schedule, but let's figure out a time to meet by the Nick Saban statue. Oh, and I got some big news for you. Guess what? The pre show and the post game show, that'll be at Westgate luxury condo. So, um, we're excited to be working with Westgate luxury condos. Once again, we really appreciate uh, them hosting us. So our pregame show will be at Westgate from the sky deck up top with coach Sean leading off. We got coach Smook, myself. Uh, we'll watch the game. We'll hang out with you guys. Walk of champions, all that. We'll get into the game. And then after we'll have the post game show, you guys can call in and, uh, you know, looking forward to seeing all you guys in the undefeated gear on saturday so we'll come up with the time but the nick saban statue will have our gathering we'll take a big photo it'll be an undefeated family photo um so i'm really looking forward to seeing you guys on saturday wear your undefeated gear everybody please welcome jordan to the family jordan campbell what's up man i appreciate you rocking with us becoming a fan funder for as low as two dollars and 99 cents you can support the product we are supported by you fan funders right here on bama football on youtube that's how we pay the coaches the super chats um you know the fan funders you guys supporting us honestly that is how we pay the bills like we're not a part of you know a big organization um it's just youtube and, that, and we're doing it organically right here on the website so i appreciate you being here um so uh, we have a couple calls that I'll get to in just a minute, but I wanted to wrap in, uh, just say good morning to you guys. So I appreciate you guys more than you know. I want to hear from you inside the comment box. What storylines are you looking forward to when you think Alabama football and their spring game taking place on Saturday, a.k.a. A-Day?